reason we put this piece together is we wanted to draw attention to the increasingly valuable relationship between nuclear medicine physicians and other GU oncology specialists looking after prostate cancer patients. And of course, nuclear medicine has always been a part of prostate cancer since the early days of bone scanning and strontium therapy and so on. But what we've seen in the past five years is the emergence of PET tracers such as PSMA and also PSMA-based therapies such as lutetium PSMA, which means that the value of nuclear medicine has dramatically increased and the scope of what nuclear medicine can offer for prostate cancer patients is expanding very considerably. The reality is that prostate cancer is very much a multidisciplinary um, cancer now in terms, of, in terms of care as well as clinical uh, and research activity. Um, nuclear medicine is critical. We need nuclear medicine involved for PSMA, uh, access to PSMA PET imaging, but not just access but also high quality uh, reporting and that's critical for both diagnosis, staging and therapeutic uh, monitoring. The other aspect uh, of why P uh, nuclear medicine is so critical in prostate cancer now and our MDT is PSMA Theranostics. Um, we simply wouldn't have access to this unless we have nuclear medicine involved and, and, and strongly embedded in the team. Um, but at the same time, nuclear medicine need us to um, help identify and recruit and manage the patients. And so it really is a team effort to not just deliver, uh, to not just uh, um, to, to, um, um, uh, deliver great quality um, clinical care, but also to, to take advantage of the many uh, research opportunities that come out of doing cutting edge, uh, first in world uh, clinical trials with PSMA Theranostics. Look, we really value the uh, opinions and learning about prostate cancer and patterns of spread. It, we, we're not just reporting scans and counting lumps, but we need to understand the pathology. Uh, and that means knowing the patterns of distribution, what the clinical question is, what you want us to try to tell you. And if we just sit in a dark room and report scans, we can get the wrong answer time and time again and we won't even know that. But when we come to the meeting and see that we're not giving you the right information, we can adjust. We also improve the way we report. We've been doing prostate imaging for a long time with our choline scanning and fluorine 18 bone scanning and PSMAs come on board now. Uh, but it's fair to say that we've learned an enormous amount from our colleagues. Uh, you know, mesorectal nodes, a new pattern of spread. Is this something you're aware of? We can bounce this off you guys. What do you see when you uh, operating on the patients, what's the typical pattern of spread, what do you expect to see, and then we can adjust our report in a logical and rational way. So it really improves our ability to provide you with good reports. By embedding the nuclear medicine team in the MDT, we see great cross-fertilization. So the nuclear medicine team see the clinical and research uh, challenges that we have in prostate cancer for our patients. Uh, and likewise, they learn uh, from us about the management challenges for these patients. On the other hand, we as GU oncology uh, specialists learn from the nuclear medicine team about the technologies they have and what they can offer in terms of imaging uh, and therapy. And I think unless we, uh, we're each sitting around the table week in, week out, looking at these cases and, 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 and having that sort of interaction, we wouldn't have made the, uh, the strides forward that we've certainly seen in our department. So our message is very simple. We think it's, it's time to go nuclear um, and very much embed the nuclear medicine team, the PET imaging and therapy teams in particular within the prostate cancer MDT. Uh, we think that this will lead to very interesting uh, research questions that we can work up in a prospective manner uh, and ultimately improve outcomes for our prostate cancer patients.